uh, ultrasound says we believe this is spina bifida, they are generally correct in a very high percentage of instances. Part of the reason for this is that there are confirmatory chemical tests, which you probably already know of. Your, your blood AFP level, or they have done an amniocentesis that has an AFP level that's elevated, and other chemical tests which are helpful. In addition, the sonographic features of spina bifida are generally uh, characteristic. However, I do recommend that if your fetus has been given a diagnosis of spina bifida, that it be confirmed by somebody with expertise in prenatal diagnosis because there are errors that have been made. More importantly, there are many gradations of severity of spina bifida. And it's important that you know where your fetus is in this rather broad spectrum of severity <clears throat> in order to have some idea of how your decision making with regard to this pregnancy will proceed. Uh, once your fetus has been diagnosed with spina bifida, and you have determined that you plan to continue the pregnancy, then you can anticipate that you will need sequential evaluation of your fetus with ultrasound during the course of the pregnancy. The reason for that is that uh, occurrences can happen which would uh, subsequently influence the me methods in which your fetus might be delivered or uh, the, the way it might, the way the delivery might be conducted. So uh, these are uh, quite important aspects and not the least of which is that you are going to, you will understand that this is a usually progressive type of problem that has consequences and you will personally be very interested in knowing how your fetus is doing and what is uh, its current status.